I'm going to chance it. All out. Chance it. Please kill him. <laughs> Hello one and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. So soon. I know. Actually, well, to be honest, it has been a while since the last episode. Uh, again, apologize. I, I don't even need to. You, you enter a Jurassic World Alive video expecting me to go, the light. Because <laughs> again, I was like, it's, it's a kind of a gray day. So the light shouldn't change too much. Of course it's gonna change, of course it is. Well, anyway, so before I'll probably put up the, the footage of me taking on the um, the latest incubator, because it was an epic incubator, only up for 24 hours, and um, was quite a tough one. Uh, and it, was, it wasn't it was at the weekend. Usually weekends is when we get epic incubators. For whatever reason, not this time. So uh, I'd, I'd seen other people try to take it on before, and because it's only two creatures, and they can't cleanse themselves, the bleed tactic is the best tactic. So I started with Capris, I had the Caprasuchus, I think it was uh, Caprasuchus and the flying one. Um, uh, Dimodactylus, because there's a switch in of a bleed. So I knew straight away I'm going to be faster, so I went for the lethal wound. Uh, once the lethal wound had taken effect, uh, and I'd survived the hit, which I was hoping to have done so. And look at that! Look at that light! Isn't that, isn't that just fantastic? Beautiful, beautiful! I have to change the white balance as well, a little bit. Uh, so I, I went for the swoop, and then uh, luckily the flyer came in that also had bleed. So a lethal wound, a swoop bleed, and the switching bleed. So that was like, oh, it did so much. It did like 3,000 something damage. And I was like, get in, awesome. Uh, and then the next one came in, and the, my flyer was faster. So I was like, well, sod it, let's just go for lethal wound again, which I did to great effect. And then I knew at this point I'd won because it couldn't cleanse itself. And I was like, I could now go for my Dina Cheris and just like, you know, no, like half its attack and just let the bleed wait out. But I was like, no, sod it. Ca the big Capra Suchis Tater thing, whatever it is. And I thought, I'd switch that in, lethal wound, boom, taken out. It was awesome. Um, so I only lost two. I mean, I could have done it with only losing one, but uh, so we won the uh, incubator pretty easy. Uh, but the reason we're here today is because I'm, I, I just wanted to tell you guys that there is a glitch at the moment. If you click on one of the presents, like the, uh, sorry, the drops, which is now presents. I love the theming, it's really nice. I'm just hoping when it comes to Easter, we have little eggs. If you went over the top and you get presents every day, like sort of the tre treasure chest, but a present can give you different things. And the first one was like, like 5,000? coin um or was it 50,000 coin I don't even remember it wouldn't be 50 it was 5,000 the yesterday's was like loads of different dinosaurs and uh, an incense I think and today's uh I'm not sure hasn't hasn't came up yet um but if you click on the supply drop it tells you um how much you can get out of like that's a daily limit so you can only get 13,000 uh coin you can only get it was 130,000 no 30,000 coin uh, 40 bucks and one um, incubator, but it's a glitch because I've already been around today and collected loads So for a limited time um, I'm hoping I put you know, what? I'll put this up the day of recording just because You like if you guys see this take advantage of it. Just get go on your bike Whatever go around to a place that's loads of stops and just spend as much as you can just getting free coin constantly and books don't forget you can get unlimited books here. You just gotta keep going, go, 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 go. <laughs> and incubators, just keep going. Put your incubator on, keep going. And you, like, if you just spent today doing that, you could have like a million coin, th uh, like hundreds of books and so many dinosaurs and unlimited darts and everything. So go do that. But the reason why we're doing today, I'm, I've recorded today, is because um, <laughs> I, I'm working towards another unique hybrid. Yeah, not too long ago, we got the Dino Cheris, or whatever it was called, the D Dilo, Dilo Cheris. That's the one, Dilo Cheris. Um, and today, um, I am looking, oh, ooh, wait, was that, was that a Stegosaur? Oh, Stegosaur, who, who submitted? OE2005, oh, easy request to fulfill, my dear. I'll do that. Um, but I have also been requesting, oh, that's a Raptor. Oh, let's, let's go for that Raptor DNA. Hell yeah. Um, somebody keeps... Loads of people trying to get Tyrannosaurus Gen 2. Like, it was a dinosaur nobody got. Nobody got Gen 2 T-Rex um, when it was, like, an option to 
get it in the um, the drops and even when it was just out and about because there was no point to it. Um, but now, since it's got the amazing Monolof of T-Rex, Monolof of Rex, Asaurus, whatever you want to call it, uh, everybody wants that now. Uh, but we're working towards the Alan Al Alasaurus and Sinosaurus. I don't know, Al Alasinoceratops, whatever it's called. So we, I've been requesting loads of Tarbosaurus DNA because it's 2,000 common DNA a pop. So that is 1,700 graciously donated by my, by people in the, uh, the, uh, the clan. <laughs> and there's another one. So we got, well, if it's 2,000, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, well, it's 4, 8. We can do 8. Eight tries, which is only 80 DNA when we think about it. Really, it's not a great deal. But you never know. I'm not worried. It's I'm only worried about running out of Tarbosaur DNA. I'm not worried about running out of this guy, Allosinoceratops, because I've got so much Sinoceratops DNA just because I haven't been using it. Um, Sinoceratops, um, like Utah Sin Ceratops wasn't very good. And then um, I didn't level it up anymore. So any Sinoceratops I got, I didn't use because this guy didn't have a hybrid. Utah Sinraptor, yes, that's the one, um, wasn't very good either. So I just left it. So I've got thousand. I got like over a thousand uh, Sinoceratops DNA. So Beaver is gonna change the, the white balance again. And here we go. So we have to get to 25. So we have to do it 25 times. Uh, we've got a maximum of eight. So chances are we're not gonna get it unless we get lucky. Um, and I mean, yeah, that's it really. There's nothing else I can say, but we're working towards it. So there we go. There's the 10. That's what we've been waiting for. Really, that's all we want, really. Um, I'm probably going to have to, oh, there's a 20, a 50 or a hundred would be really nice. Um, and there's nothing we could do. We can't time it. And I'm pretty sure timing doesn't work anymore. Um, so there we go. That's six, 60,000, I think. There's six, 6,000, 8,000 now, 8,000, uh, DNA gone. Uh, so if we get this again, we'll get 140, so... Uh, I'm waiting for something better, not 20s. Come on, give me 100 or 200. 200 would be awesome. And that's the last we can do. Oh, there it is. There's the 50. So over halfway now, but we can only have two more pops. So we've st I've got 3,000 Sinoceratops DNA. And who cares about Allosaurus because there's so much of them. Oh, there's 40. Not bad. So we'll keep on going. Now... I, I'm assuming his unique hybrid, for those of you that have it, is pretty decent. Um, I don't think it gets any unique attacks because Tarbosaur doesn't have any better ones than Allo, uh, Sino, so Allo Sinosaurus. Um, I think it'll probably have instant charge. It'll have, it'll probably have all these same attacks. Defense, shattering impact, instant charge. Maybe defense, shattering strike will be replaced by all armor piercing strikes. Uh, sorry, shield breaking. Maybe that's what'll happen. A bit like T-Rex has all shield breaking attacks. So that is as much as I can do uh, because I've only got two pops left on Tarbosaur. So I'm not going to waste any more coin. Um, so there's 20 and the last one. We're so close. Come on. Oh, if, well, what's the best we could get? If we get 90, if we get 100. So there is a chance of still getting it. But our survey says 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 10, 50. Okay. So we need another 60 tri six tries. So don't need to worry about the um, the legendary. That's going to happen. Tarbosaur. I just need to, you know, I need to do. I think once I've edited this video, set it off to render, I might just go out. I might just, <laughs> just spend today doing that. And if you're a hardcore fan of this and you're not working or in school, um, I would suggest doing that yourself or getting your uh, partner to uh, drive you around, which is always, always good. Because that way you stay warm because it's quite cold in England or northern countries, I'm sure, at the moment. So I'd do that. Also, I want to uh, say a thank you to Els um, for uh, letting me know about that glitch, like this glitch with the... Um, the drops because I didn't know about that until uh, she messaged me uh, and I was like, well, what really? Huh? <laughs> I, I don't really go on Facebook too much. I don't really go on social media too much. So I didn't really know about this being a glitch. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to reset in 10 hours. I mean, if it does, that would be a bit annoying and then you can sort of have a max, but at the moment there is no max. So definitely go do that. Um, but another reason not only did we get all of those um, awesome incubator, well, the epic incubator, I've got a rare incubator and a legendary, which I'm going to speed up for 180 bucks. I don't care. At least it's something else, right? And who knows? Maybe we'll get a bunch of Tarbosaur DNA out of it. So we're going to start with the rare first. 
I've uh, been holding on to this. It's every time I record a video, the next day I get an incubator like this because I don't mind running through them. If you have four slots free, you can get, you know, you can do your three hours during the day. Say, like, if you've got some spare, wait till you get the 15, speed the 15 up instantly, then keep going. Eight hours is overnight. Um, I know uh, I have no life. Oh, there you go. There's another pop. 2,398 Tarbosaur DNA. We still might be in with a chance of Allosaurus. Very good. Capra suit. You see a lot of people asking for that. I'm irritated. DNA. Ooh, that was such a good incubator. Oh my god. Okay. Um, well, now that we have another pop at the um Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna get another unique creature? That would be awesome. Yeah, look at that. 2600. I, I came across three Brachiosauruses yesterday. It was crazy. Okay, so that's 60, so that's one pop. Come on. Four Adolosaurus. Come on. We need 80. 70. 70, I think. Come on, 70. 70, 70, 70. Ah, 10, really? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Well, we've still got an epic uh, epic incubator to get, so here we go. 100 bucks. Don't mind speeding up. I mean, it's for the video. If I wasn't recording, I wouldn't have done that. So it's 13,000 coin. Not too bad. Oh, I would have, that would have been so much nicer as uh, Tarbosaur DNA. 170 Draco Rex. Now, Draco Rex has seen an increase in use in the meta because it is just so freaking good. It has a swap in ability, which is a uh, rampage. So instantly, you swap it in, it does two times damage. I've seen that like, the top player has it level 30 because it makes sense. Because not only do you swap in, it's super quick. You do loads of damage, then you do impact and run. Get out of there, I think. I think you can do impact run straight. I'm not sure. 83 Monosaurus. Well, it's the lowest of DNA for the rare. What's the, and it is a Monosaurus, and Monosaurus doesn't have any use at the moment. It will eventually, and everyone will be like, Monosaurus DNA! <laughs> uh, but the big one is a Giraffe Titan. Don't see that too much. Uh, okay, the epic. Ooh, do we have an... We have legendary DNA. Okay, so 201 Pyrotator. Uh, sorry, Pyraptor. Did actually see one today. Um, got 150 odd DNA from that. And this one is 157 Pyrox. And the legendary DNA is... 17 Tristornix, which I, is technically 50 Baryonyx. And I don't even know what the other one is. But that it, it could have been worse. Um, so what am I working towards? I, I haven't got Monolophosaurus yet. I just need a tiny bit more Monolophosaurus because Monostegatops is just so good now. Um, it's just a shame that I put it all into, um, uh, Monomimus because Mono- And that's, that's the thing with this game. You end up, like, putting in all your DNA for a dinosaur that's good at the moment, and then it just gets nerfed. It's like, well, great, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, who- It was Pyrotator, wasn't it? What's Pyrotator's hybrid? I'm trying to- Oh, yeah, it's this thing. Yeah, of course, there it is. Okay. So I'm still trying to go for so that's 10 DNA. I'm not going to try for the animations anymore. I, honestly, I've tried it so many times. It just seems to be sheer luck. Sheer dumb luck. Oh, of course, I'm like one DNA off being able to 50, 50, 60. Or 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. Well, at least we got another pop at Magnetator. So we're, we're, get, we're slowly getting there. Slowly but surely. And there, of course, is another... We're probably going to get both of these at the same time. Now, this guy can be killed pretty... It's not too quick, I don't think. And its attacks are decent. It's just... It's it's health so weak that when I faced it in the past, it just gets sweeped straight away. There we go. Better. Now I don't look as pale, I don't think. So, um... Oh, what's this? Oh, jo John Cena, you won't really get any Rex Gen 2. It's rare and everyone needs... Yeah, that's the thing. People... There was someone in this group who was like... I've done it. I've asked for like Gen 2 T-Rex five times and got nothing. It's because nobody has it. And if they do have it, they're just using it for um, the latest uh, hybrid, which is the... Yeah, this guy. So I've got level 18 of that. 20,000. Do I want to do that? You see, what I'm doing, I'm not really working towards anything specifically. I'm just working for a lot of different dinosaurs. So I've got Tarbosaur level 20. We got Dimetrion. I got Dimetrion level 20 ages ago. So that was a lot of coin that I didn't need to, I've already used. Dinocheris level 20. Um, I'm trying to get Ehrlichosaurus up so it can get early Dominus Rex or whatever it is. There's a lot of common, like this thing as well. This weird bubble-nosed uh, crocodilian thing I'm trying to get up as well uh, to a high level. 
And so my team, as you've probably seen, hasn't changed much. And th well, I'm obviously not going to keep the bleeds in my team. Uh, and I should probably switch those out now. <laughs> Full regular fighters. So I'm ca like, I kind of want to try Allosinoceratops. I'll try that. And cap like, I need to make this guy higher level if I want to use it because it is really friggin' good. Um, you know, what? I might, I might as well keep it in, uh, and we'll we'll try doing some battles with that. Um, oh, can, can we cancel quickly? Can I cancel quickly? Yeah, there we go. So we may as well just send one of those off. I have had a glitch in the past. I don't know if it works anymore. Or it was just a glitch where I've had two incubators set off at the same time. And I think it was like a connection issue I was having. I, I would like set the incubate and nothing would happen. And then I would click the other one, set the incubate, nothing would happen. I'd close the game, load it back up again, and boom, they were both in. I was like, oh, fuck, this is so good. But I don't know. It's only happened twice and I don't even know how I did it. So we do have Allosinoceratops. Or Allosinosaurus. Oh, God. This is, that's probably the worst um, competition I could come up against, really. Um, because he's going to go for lethal wound right away. Gets a crit. Course gets the crit. Uh, another big change um, that I wanted to talk about in the game is the daily missions. Uh, you know what? We may as well just, like, kill him. I think this is probably going to kill Oh, it's not going to kill him. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm going to die of bleed anyway. <laughs> oh, he's stunned. Am I dead? And I'm dead. That, that was probably one of the worst matchups I could have gotten. I, I couldn't have tried for a worse matchup there. So this is pretty good because it allows me to set up with my Diloranosaurus. Um, because now on the next turn, I'm even if he switches out and he's not dead, at least I've got my Rampage uh, up, which is actually really good for this guy who's already level 24. I keep on going up and down between the Avery and the Lockwood estate. Um, the, I mean, eventually I just face up just too... The opponents are just too strong to, for my dinosaurs. Not that I couldn't level it up. I could level up Diloranosaurus. Um, I'm just trying to, like, get as many dinosaurs as possible at the moment. So I'm going to go for... I He's probably going to go for Superiority Strike. I think he's going to go for Superiority Strike. So I'm just going to go for Switch. Dil Diloranosaurus is too um, valuable at the moment. Uh, it could be Indominus Rex. Pirate he probably will go for Superiority Strike. Oh, great is stun. Oh, please don't get stunned. Please don't get stunned. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, pirate dead. One of the weaker ones. Um, I mean, he's probably just going to go for Rampage and kill me. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll just let him have that. So, it's not looking good. However, two of their dinosaurs are already on really low health. And if he switches out again, that makes the third one on really low health. Or at least two on really low health. Okay, are you ready? Come back, king. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go... For the reduction in speed. And luckily, I'd rather he switched out, actually, because him and Caprasuchus, or whatever it is, the big Caprasuchamimus, or whatever it is, um, would both be dead in one hit. So, again, we're in a good situation. We've got a um, stun. Oh, we're not in a good situation. Indoraptor. It's a loose cannon. Don't know what's going to happen. He's probably going to go for um, his evas evasion. So, you know what? Because he's going to go for his evas evasion. Yeah, there it is. Knew that was coming. I'm going to go for Distracting Strike. Meaning that if he does want to attack, he's going to have to go for Cleansing Blow. Not only that, but I'm going to stun him here. So hopefully... Oh, we get the hit and we get the stun. Um, and I kind of have to go for Impact and Run. So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to go for that. Please hit him. That oh, was a crit as well. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, now it's... Now it's... it's dumb luck. It's, yeah, there it is. If he gets a crit, we're dead. We didn't get a crit. Um, we're, we're not dead, so that's good. Um, now it's, it's like I said, it's pure chance. Because I have to go for my evasive strike. He's dodged twice, remember. He's dodged twice. I've hit him once. Come on. Just, I'm only asking for one dodge. Yes! Okay, I'm asking for two dodges. Actually, would he kill me? Ooh, this is interesting. Because he's, he's went for his cleansing. He's went for his big strike. Now he's only got a slash. So, you know what? I am going to switch out. We're going to be clever. I'm switching out because he's only got one slash. Unless he gets a crit and even then he's not going to kill me. Oh, evasive stance. Interesting. Now we're going to go for distracting um, strike. Hopefully we kill him here. No, we don't. Cleansing. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's not good. Whoa, that wasn't good. <laughs> okay. Now, it's 50-50 here. 
I could chance it, go for superiority strike, or I could go for the stun. God, I don't know. I'm gonna chance it. All out! Chance it! Please kill him! <laughs> he got the crits. I got lucky with one, like, one dodge. Honestly, it really de That was it. Like, if he hadn't dodged there, I probably should have played it safe, shouldn't I? I should have went for the stun, and then... He, he probably would have dodged twice. But they, they have it. It's just... It's just so annoying, because... It was, it was, it was my victory. That was my victory. All he had left was his Capra Sukumimus or whatever it's called. And it was on super low health. So, if I'd killed his Indoraptor, um, actually, no, he, he would have had a, another dinosaur, actually. Because it was that one, to the Ankylosaur, the Indoraptor. So, there was something else. Okay. I'll, I'll shut up now. <laughs> so, let's go for this guy, because he's super quick. Oh, of course, he has his own. Fantastic, and he's probably gonna go for critical chance, isn't he? Yeah, 100% uh, he gets it, and I died. Oh, he gets it, I'm basically dead anyway. Um, so he's probably gonna go for swoop. We did a load of damage, he's gonna go for swoop here. Um, actually, should he? He might, he might, if he doesn't go for swoop, he's almost dead on the next turn. So, Sodom, let's, what's he gonna go for? He, if he goes for swoop, this will be hilarious, because he'll swoop do damage. Oh, no! Interesting! I have lived! <laughs> that was like the, He should have just went for a swoop. That's what he should have done. Just to get an instant switch. So look at that. Oh, and damage! Yeah! Okay, so there's nothing he can do really here. Um, I'm going to go for a cloak because he's just going to stall and he's going to take loads of bleed damage. Worst case scenario, right? I get hit. Which I don't, which is... Oh, there we go. Again, a bit of luck. And he's just losing health. And he's going to go for instant in invincibility now. So I'm going to use that as a chance to switch to Dilaranosaurus. He may even switch himself. Um, no, there it is. A long invincibility. So again, the bleed is just bleeding him out. Um, oh, it's gone now. Okay, so now I'm going to go for distracting strike. Um, he probably will go for superiority strike here. Um... I'm expecting. No, greatest stunning strike. Now, we may not even get stunned here. Well, you know, it was an option. <laughs> uh, so, because Dilaranus is pretty good, uh, or pretty necessary, I'm going to switch to um, Allosinosaurus. Uh, there's a the superiority strike. That's what I was expecting. He would have done that and then gone for a rampage and done a lot of damage, which I didn't necessarily want. So I'm going to go for this big hit. Now, the reason why I've switched out to this guy, not only is I've got armor so I can tank the hit, but I can do defense shattering impact, doing a load of damage. And no matter what comes in next, I'm getting an instant, like, stun, which has, like, a 75% chance. Which, or is it 90? I'll have to double check. It's pretty damn high um, on whatever comes in. So already 1-0 up. Um, ooh, ooh, Tyrannolophosaurus. Interesting seeing you here, buddy. So what does he have? Defense Shattering Rampage, which is probably going to kill me. That's probably what he's going to go for. This has a 75% chance. May as well go for it. Um, so he still has his Caprasuchus, um, or Caprasuchus, whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, on really low health. So he's going to go for a really big impact here. Um, and that, I would assume... Uh, he does 1,000 damage, so he's going to have to go for uh, defense shattering. No, no, he could go for not the biggest. He's probably not going to go for the biggest. No, he goes for the biggest. Never mind. Just making sure I'm dead, because I did have armor, but all of the attacks went through armor anyway. I don't know. I like to ramble when I'm doing these videos. So, I'm going to switch into Dealeranus again, or Dealer Charis. Um, the tactic is with this guy just to make sure you've got one warm-up turn, uh, which is what I'm going to use here. Uh, he may switch. If he does switch, well, it's kind of a waste of a, of a turn if he does. Or it's, it works out for me. Um, come on. Yeah, and he doesn't have the biggest attack. Oh, his own distracting imp. Very clever. However, um, I like to rhyme. Then my superiority strike is going to cleanse that. So even if he switches out, which he might actually do, just to try and save himself from taking a uh, loss, which he did... Um, I'm just gonna negate that completely and go for a big hit. So Indominus is gonna go for Cloak and then he's gonna go for a big hit. Uh, so I'm gonna go for Rampage, Switch, 
And um, we'll see. Hopefully we... I mean, even if one of these lands, he's dead. So fingers crossed, one of them lands. There you go. One of them lands. So that's actually quite good. Um, because now I can pick and choose between what I go for. And I think I can kill him in one hit. Yeah, I can. So I may as well just go for... And there you go. That was easy. But maybe I made it look easy just because I kind of played it right. I don't know. It, it felt easy. But... I don't know. That, they, like I said, it could have it could have went very wrong very quickly. But anyway, guys, I yep, I'll, this will be tonight's video. Um, I'm sorry that it's quite late for people in like UK time zones and further on Eastern Europe. If you are watching, because uh, it'll be very late. But hopefully the next day, uh, you can set off and just get loads and loads of coin. Uh, and this is the reason why I don't buy coin, is just because that's part of the fun. It's like, oh, there's a glitch? We can get unlimited coin? Go, go, go! It's like, and even books, you know. It's, it's part of the fun of this game. It changes all the time, and luckily, sometimes, there's a little bit of a, a glitch like this that happens every once in a blue moon. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a like, and until next time, um, I'll see you later. Uh, bye bye